Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about the May books that I have on my May TBR. I have quite a few books on this list. A lot of them are more on the contemporary side just because I really want to prepare myself for Book Bonanza in June and just read as many books as possible from different authors and also some authors that I already love that are going because I want them to sign the books that I love, you know? So. Um, we're gonna jump into those books. I have a book club book and I have also some buddy reads as well. So we're going to start out with those. Bri and I run the Chronically Courageous book club, Brief From In Love and Words. And our April May pick is If Only You by Chloe Lees. This is the most recent book in the Barbara Mother series. Both of us are really excited for this book. We've been counting down the days for it. It's been very hard for me not to read it already. We are almost done with April and I have not read this book yet. And it came out at the beginning of April. So I've been holding off because I want to read the book as close to the live show as possible because I want to talk to Brie about it. And I want to talk to anyone else who decides to join the live show. Be sure to put the live show date on y'all's calendars. It's going to be on May 20th, 7 p.m. CST on Brie's channel. This is the latest book in the Bergman Brothers series and it's about Ziggy and Sebastian. I am super excited. Ziggy here is a soccer player and she is also autistic. And then you have Sebastian here who is a hockey player and I believe he's being diagnosed with like celiac disease throughout the book, which is everything to me. And I know the book is like, it's gonna handle it so well because Chloe herself also has celiac. We've talked about celiac before. So I'm very excited to see that representation in a book because I have yet to find one with like phenomenal celiac rep from the few that I have read. So I am so excited to pick this one up towards the end of May before our live show. Remember, put it on your calendar and tune in on the 20th. Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings just recently read Eleanor and Gray by Brittany Cherry for the first time. After she read that book, we were talking because we love Brittany Cherry. So we talk about Brittany, obviously, and her books. And she was telling me how she is super excited to read Landon and Shay. And I was like, oh my gosh, me too. I actually haven't picked that one up yet, that duet yet. And she came up with the amazing idea to buddy read the duet. So we're gonna be doing that in May. I'm really excited. I don't know a lot about this book. All I know is Landon and Shay popped up as like side characters in Eleanor and Gray. And this is like their duet. I think part, the first book is I think when they're in high school and then the second part is when like they're older as adults possibly. I don't know, I have to look more into it, but I love going into Britney's books just as blind as possible because she is a fantastic writer and I'm gonna love what she makes regardless, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm really excited to read these two books with Rachel because we just love Britney's books so much. My friend Kate over at The Book of Kate, I'll link her down below, I love her so much. We are going to be buddy reading Pestilence by Laura Thalassa. This book has been on our TBRs for like, Ever, and we both want to read it. This is the first book in the Four Horsemen series. So I think each book in the series is about one of the horsemen from the apocalypse, like falling in love with somebody, I guess. Um, so Pestilence, I think, I think the heroine in this one is trying to kill Pestilence, but then he can't die. And so then he comes after her instead or something like that, I think. I don't know. Again, I like to go into books as blind as possible. I'll stop reiterating that, but I just do. But um, Kate is really excited about this book and so am I. And I love her so much and I can't wait to finally buddy read a book with her. My last buddy read that I'd love to mention is A Hunker Doozy, but I'm gonna be buddy reading it with Zay and we're gonna have an amazing time because we both have not read Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin before. We are both going to book Bonanza in June and Pam Godwin is going to be there. <laughs> So we have to read the most iconic Pam Godwin. So we're going to be doing that in May at some point. And I'm really excited to read it with her and like not read this on my own because I feel like this is such a iconic book from what I've heard of from other people and like memorable book. Like I feel like it's worth buddy reading with someone. So Zay, we're going to be in for a wild ride, but I am very excited because everyone I know loves this book if they've read it. And um, I feel like we're like the last two people who haven't read it, but it's okay because they and I are together in this. Um, I think this is a historical romance dealing with pirates of some sort and our heroine in here is a female pirate. Also, I think like she has a husband who's trying to find her and then there's this captain trying to find her or something. I don't know. I don't know. But um, people love this book 
and this author and I can't wait to read my first Pam Godwin book. I do have four books physically that I'm going to be bringing to Book Bonanza to get them signed but I haven't read them yet so I'm gonna try and read them before I take them there because like what if I end up not liking them but then my name will be in the book like I want to make sure I like them before I get them signed you know. So first is Lessons in Sin by Pam Godwin. So another Pam Godwin. I think this is like a age gap romance where he's the headmaster of this like boarding Catholic school or something and she's one of the new students but she's like 18 or something I don't know Pam Godwin again I haven't read one yet so we'll see about this one I have read a Jodi Ellen Malpass before so I have one of those but I haven't read this one yet and I have it in my collection this is Leave Me Breathless I think this is like a romantic suspense of sorts which isn't really my favorite thing ever but I also think it's Small Town which is my favorite so We'll see. Then I have Liar by Fiona Cole. I, ha I got this book sent by Valentine VR to me. Um, and I have read the first two books in this series and they were 3.5 stars each. So let me know if this one is worth reading, please. And if I can skip the other ones to get to this one, I'd love to know. Um, I know nothing about this book, but I own a Fiona Cole book. I do want to get a sign. I do want to meet her. So let me know if this one is worth reading, please. And then my last one for this little grouping is Someday Someday by Emma Scott. I love Emma Scott so much. I'm going to be bringing a few books to her table and um, I really want to read this one. I think this is like um, a guy whose dad is like dying and there's a nurse that lives in the home with them to take care of his dad and they end up falling for each other. It's an MM romance. Um, I've heard really good things about it. I know it gets pretty emotional. It's Emma Scott, you know? So I need to read this very soon. These are already so many books. Okay, I'm making my TBR way too ambitious. Another one that I would love to read before Book Bonanza is One Hot Italian Summer by Karina Halley. I would love to read another Karina Halley book because I really have loved her books in the past and this is one of her newer releases. I think this is one that takes place in Italy. Our heroine, I believe, is a writer and she goes to stay at her editor or manager's villa in Italy and she ends up meeting that woman's ex-husband and son who lives there and I think like the ex-husband and her end up falling for each other. I don't know, it sounds very dramatic to me. I really want to continue on with the Black Dagger Brotherhood books and universe by J.R. Ward. So next one on my docket is The Wolf, which is book number two in the Black Dagger Brotherhood prison camp series, which are not my favorite. <laughs> The prison camp books and the wolf ones aren't my favorite, but I really want to continue so I can get to Lassiter and feel like I'm not missing out because I have FOMO with like books in the series, even if I don't think I'll like them, like I still need to read them. My brain won't let me not read them. So we're going to read this one. So this one's about Lucan and Rio. Lucan is like a wolf shifter and I don't know if Rio's, I think Rio's a human. I don't know. It doesn't say in the summary, but he ends up saving her life and Things happen. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I would love to read Twisted Games by Anna Huang and possibly the rest of the books, but I don't know if I could squeeze that in because I did read the first one, I think last month or the month before, um, and I just need to continue on. And I think I'm going to be loving this one the most because it's kind of a take on Princess Diaries 2 Royal Engagement, which is my favorite, by the way, out of those two movies. Both of them are good. That one's my favorite though. Okay, even though it's messy, it's okay. And so I really want to read this one and it's a bodyguard romance. I love bodyguard romances. I feel like it's a perfect me book and I need to read it before Book Bonanza for when I meet Anna Huang and I can like talk to her about it if I end up loving it and I think I will. But let me know what your favorite book in this series is because should I read all the way to book four before I go? Let me know. I recently filmed a like recommending books based off of tropes or prompts you give me and someone really wanted to have a book recommended to them that has a billionaire heroine and I haven't read one yet but this book popped up in my research and I put it on my TBR this is Lush Money by Angelina M. Lopez and she just so happens to be going to Book Bonanza so it's like perfect so this is a female billionaire and I think she has to fake date this guy for whatever reason give it to me now and I think either any player Libby has this audiobook so I have no excuse at this point. Shay Savage is also going to be a book bonanza and I am thrilled to get Transcendence signed by her but I need to read another book by her because I've only read Transcendence and then loves like the book 1.5 in that series um so I'm going to try and pick up Surviving Rain which looks like a survival romance and I 
and I believe Anyplay has the audiobook. So I'm just going to be listening to so many books in May. It's going to happen. But survival romances are my jam. Another one for Book Bonanza is another Emma Scott. This is How to Save a Life. So this is apparently a second chance romance standalone with shades of the paranormal. Interesting. It carries the characters from high school through their early 20s. Emma Scott also stated this is not YA, so don't worry. <laughs> um, there are trigger warnings for domestic violence on page and mentions of SA on page. And it is in a series of like intercollected, st interconnected standalone, so you can't read it as a standalone. So um, this is on the shorter side. This one is going to be an ebook read for me um, because there is no audiobook, but that's okay. It's like 200 something pages. So I think I'll fly through it and I hopefully will really like it. And the last book on my list on my May TBR is Alien Most Wanted by Honey Phillips. This is the first book in the Folsom Planet Blues series or Alien Most Wanted series. I don't know. There's like two series names. Here, I'm not sure. I want to read the summary for this one because it looks funny. Okay, it says one minute Amanda is crying over a Hallmark movie and binging chocolate. The next she is being offered as a prize to the winner of a brutal contest in an alien prison. And the biggest scariest alien of all just won her. A cheating boyfriend is the last thing on Amanda's worries when an alien appears in her living room. Discovering she has been sold to an alien prison is terrifying. Seeing two males fight to the death for her is horrifying. But the massive red male who looks at her with such hunger, he could destroy her. Left to rot with the other undesirables, Riker's only focus is on escape. He has no intention of fighting for anyone's entertainment until he sees the soft, beautiful female being offered to the victor. A female is the last thing he needs, especially one who arouses his mating instincts. But neither can he resist her. Can he protect her from the vicious guards, the evil warden, and from himself. That sounds so good. I've been loving Honey Phillips books, so I'm very thrilled to read this. Anyways, so you have it. Those are the very many books on my May TBR. Let me know down below what books you are reading in May, and if you're going to Book Finanza, what books are you wanting to read before June? Let me know because I might have to read them too. <laughs> if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any green emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.